Bobby was sitting on the floor of the pediatrician's office playing with some building blocks, trying to figure out how he got himself into this predicament. It all started when his mother caught him wearing a diaper a few days ago, shortly after she made a call to her friend, and set up this appointment. Now here he was, a 15-year-old boy, wearing a diaper under his clothes, and waiting to see his mother's friend, the pediatrician. We'll see you and Tommy next month Mrs. Jones, exclaimed the receptionist from behind a closed door. The door suddenly opened, and out walked a young mother with a baby in her arm. As she walked out of the office she eyed up Bobby, but didn't show any truth to what she was thinking. Bobby and his mother, who was still flipping through her magazine, were the only ones left in the wafting room, for it was the last appointment of the day. The weight finally was taking its toll on Bobby as he felt a strong pressure build in his lower intestine. The increasing pressure, along with his nervousness surprised him when he couldn't stop the urge to push. He suddenly felt a release as a large warm lump started fill in the empty spaces of the diaper. Shocked he didn't even notice the reverberating noise produced by the escaping pressure between his bottom, and the floor he was sitting on. Out of reflex his bladder released a warm string between his legs, forcing the diaper to swell. At that moment the door opened, and the receptionist in a calm normal voice called out, Mrs. Sinclair, we're ready for Bobby. Bobby teared up as his mother grabbed his hand, and led him through the office door. Walking was a little difficult for every move was an embarrassing step. Right this way Mrs. Sinclair stated the receptionist as she led them to the examining room, which had giant daddy bears painted all over the walls. Here Bobby, sit on the examining table while you wait for the doctor exclaimed the receptionist. Bobby was helped onto the table, and as he sat down he began to cry from embarrassment. Sitting on the table he felt the warm lump spread from the crotch to between his butt cheeks to the top back of the diaper. Ah, it's okay little guy, gushed the receptionist with a smile. Before walking out she directed Mrs. Sinclair to remove all of Bobby's clothes except for the diaper. Mommy please don't. Bobby pleaded under his tears. His mom started with his shoes, socks, and then turned her attention to removing his t-shirt. She then undid his pants, and pulled them off exposing his soiled diaper. From outside the room I soft friendly voice shouted Donna. Bobby's mom turned, and replied with the same enthusiasm, Carol, how are you? After some short pleasantries were exchanged Carol, dressed in a white lab coat, turned her attention to the crying boy. Well looks like somebody is upset because he had an accident, Carol said in a patronizing voice. With a soothing voice she had Bobby laid down on the examining table, and forced him to bend his knees while his legs were spread wide apart. She undid the tapes, and pulled down the diaper using the front of it to wipe the remaining mess into the diaper. Like a pro she pulled out the diaper from his bottom, and handed it off to the receptionist. The receptionist hurried it out of sight. Carol then grabbed some baby wipes and cleaned his bottom including his genitals. She then started to examine the diaper area for any diaper rash. Bobby was starting to feel a little bit better considering he was completely exposed, and cleaned like a baby. The exam continued as a usual physical, except now his temperature was taken rectally. Donna, he looks good, but I want to see him back here in five months. Carol commanded. Thanks Carol, El figured if he's wearing diapers he should be treated like a baby. His mother replied. In response Carol retorts I understand Donna, he will be treated as such here, now that he's one of my patients. The receptionist interrupted by handing Bobby's mother a clean diaper. Carol then pointed out and replied, you can get him dressed now. There's powder and diaper rash cream next to the examining table. We'll talk more tonight when you put him to bed. Ba -ba 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 with that Bobby's mom dressed Bobby in a diaper and t-shirt, but didn't bother with his pants or shoes. She then paid the bill, and led a reluctant pleading child out of the office. With that Bobby's mom dressed Bobby in a diaper and- The end.